Okay, so I'm going to try to do this quick. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how I wet wrap my hair. My battery is about to die. My bathroom is a mess. Um, I just got out of the shower. I'm about 11 weeks post and it is nappy up in here. Um, so I washed and conditioned my hair. I had my hair um, in a wrap since last week um, because I'm wearing my lace wigs. So I'm trying to wear them for a week. This will be my third week. And at the end of the week, I, um, I take it down, wash it, and deep condition it. Um, I'm going to use some Apogee Keratin green, green Tea Reconstructor. When I washed my hair right now, it was a hot mess when I washed it. I'll let it sit on my hair, deep, condition, deep conditioner all day, because I ain't doing nothing. So when I want to go wash it off right now, it's horrible. My hair felt like straw. And I'm going to go back with the Oxy Hair Insurance, which is a leave-in conditioner. Yeah, I used um, this Redken All Soft Soak Fuel that I had because I have so much crap because I'm a hair junkie. And I hadn't used it for a while. A lot of the conditioning balm, Biolage crap. And I mixed it. <clears throat> and either, I think it's because I'm so many weeks post, my hair just gets unruly and doesn't do what it's supposed to do and it just rejects stuff. So. After I washed it out, I had to go to my best friend, Aussie Moist, and uh, that helped. But I think it's just time for a relaxer. So, yeah. And I'm ready. But it's been easier because I've had it wrapped underneath the wig, so I haven't had to do anything to it, really. Just kind of apply it to my scalp like this. I'm trying to get through the roots in there. And uh, if you don't know what Megatech is, it's to help make horses quote grow, make it shiny. And on human hair, it helps <coughs> with the same thing. And it helps with hair growth. And I usually don't start using this till a couple of weeks after my relaxer because it makes my new growth crazy. Let's massage it in. And then someone was asking like is my hair like how's my hairline doing? Well it's pretty much the same. I try to place it in front of my hairline, the wig, so. And then I had my husband edge me up the other day just to get the little kitchens so that it would uh, stick better than eight. And I'm not too worried about those little kitchens back there, so. But I would never shave the front. Not against anybody who does, but that's, you know, I'm trying to grow my hair. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna use some long-term relationship. I'm almost out. I got another bottle in my closet stash. But. You know what? Gotta get hit with it. Gotta get every last drop. Stop playing. You guys know you gotta do this at home. Don't play. And I use a lot. Especially right now. Okay. So I've got that and what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do too much because it's just gonna be wrapped up underneath my my scarf. I'm gonna do my wig. I'm gonna put some bio silk drops. Got that stuff on my face. Now how I do it. Check. Please don't stone me telling me 
shouldn't do it this way, it's going to break my hair. This works for me. If it doesn't work for you, then, you know, try something a little bit different. But for me, this is how I do it. We're going to see if I can take these glasses off. Just be very careful. And start to comb your hair down. I can definitely see some length just in the two weeks that I haven't touched it, you know. Because I'm usually combing my hair like every day and washing it, sometimes every day, co-washing or every two days. So, and now I'm brushing it, yes I'm brushing it, but I gotta smooth this junk out. And I'm using a paddle brush. And just gently combing it around. And I know a lot of people don't, they're like, don't. And that's just because your hair is so, it's at its fragile as point when it's wet. And uh, I had said on my lace front video that um, I thought that I ordered the wig too small, but really, when I, once I wet wrapped it, instead of just regularly dry wrapping it, the next day when I put it on, it fit perfect. And I was able to secure the nape a lot better, especially because I edged it up as well, but I was um, able to secure that better all the way around. So then I'm going to use my uh, turbo board bristle just to smooth my wrap and I just wanted to go all the way up this way because it's going to be under my wig so I wanted to be up above my hairline and everything up and out of the way on my edges. Then I'm just going to spray it with some Mazzani Sheen Body Fine Spray. This stuff is a bomb. And, um, I got it on sale on my JC's Pennies for $1.97. I got like three of these mugs, let me tell you. When they were on sale, they used to like 10 bucks. So, yeah, $1.97, that's what's up. Next, I'm just gonna take my trusty, trusty, trusty scarf. And Tie that joint tight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, um, let me know. Please don't get on me about the brush. I know, I know, I know. Um, but other than that, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, uh, tell a friend. The button's over there, I believe. The yellow button that says subscribe. Hit it down there. Yep, mm hmm. That's where you need to rate. So, holla at your girl. I'll be back with more tutorials, makeup, maybe tomorrow. So, um, you guys have a good night. I'm about to go to bed. Ow.